What's up everyone, I'm currently in the top 25 global leaderboard for the R9 shotgun and today I'm going to show you exactly how to climb the ranks and dominate the weapon master leaderboard in Call of Duty Mobile. But first let's address a common question, why aren't your points progressing after hitting 5000 plus? So once you hit 5000 plus weapon master points, you need to be at legendary rank in the respective mode, whether it's multiplayer or battle royale. If you are still in grandmaster, that's why your points aren't going up. And remember, if you're legendary in MP but trying to grind BR solos after hitting 5000 plus points, you still won't see any progress unless you're also legendary in BR. Make sure you're at the legendary rank for the mode you're pushing. And keep in mind, after you reach legendary rank, losing matches will cause your weapon master point to decrease. So once you're at the top, every match counts. Now for those who are new to the weapon master system, it unlocks when any primary weapon hits max level. From there, you earn master points by playing with that weapon in matches. Hit 400 points for a calling card. At 1000 points, you'll unlock a special frame. Push to 2000 points and you'll get a dynamic calling card. And at 3500 points, you unlock the ability to rename your weapon. To earn those master points, you can play in normal or ranked matches across multiplayer or battle royale. From 0 to 2000 points, any mode works. From 2001 to 3500 points, you'll need to be at least pro rank in ranked matches. Once you hit 3500 and 1 to 5000 points, only master rank and above can push forward. And finally, beyond 5001 points, you'll need to be in legendary rank. Your points will reset when the rank series resets. If you're above 3500 points, they will be reset proportionally. But don't worry, everything below 3500 stays intact. Make sure to choose your region in the Weapon Master leaderboard to compete for the top spots. The top 100 players in each region get special rewards, so there's a lot at stake. Now, if you are serious about ranking up fast, here are a few pro tips to help you climb the leaderboard. Weapon selection, pick non-meta or less used guns like shotguns or marksman rifles. The competition here is lower, so you'll have a better chance of ranking higher, but you need to know how to use these weapons effectively. Picking the mode. If you are playing BR, go for a gun that's available as ground loot or from a drop and be quick to pick it up. In BR, playing duo or solo in FPP mode can give you an edge as there are more bots and easier targets. For MP, stick to modes you're confident of winning whether playing solo or with a team. Keep winning. Winning is key to climbing the leaderboard. Get a good number of kills and maintain a high KDA ratio to boost your points. But remember, winning every match isn't always possible. If you're on the edge of a loss and your teammates are struggling or your opponents are just too good, use the protect your gun strategy. Start with a different weapon and only switch to your leaderboard gun when you're winning. Or if you're struggling, switch away from your leaderboard weapon to avoid losing points. This way you minimize the risk of losing hard earned points. With these strategies, you're ready to dominate the weapon master system and climb those leaderboards. Are you aiming for the top 100 or maybe even higher? Hit that like button, subscribe for more tips and let's master those weapons together. If you have any question, drop it in comments. Bye, see ya.